An object reference refers to an object of a particular type. You can't create an object variable that's set up to refer to a person and at runtime assign it to an object that's some other type. It won't compile. A delegate variable is set up so that it can refer to a procedure of a given type. What defines the type of a procedure are the parameters you pass to it and the return value that comes back. By setting up a delegate, you're creating a type of procedure that you can refer to. And a procedure that accepts a delegate variable is expecting that it can call a procedure of a special type. It can pass these parameters, it can return this value back. So by using delegates, you can determine the type of procedure you'll be able to call. You can then determine exactly which procedure you want to call at runtime. Lots of features in the .NET framework count on delegates. We'll look at some of them in other sections. That is, these features expect that you'll supply the address of a procedure that meets certain requirements, and the .NET runtime will call those procedures at given times. If you couldn't use a delegate, you couldn't specify exactly what kind of parameters that procedure was going to expect and what it would return. But the delegate feature allows you to determine those things when you write your code. It's a really nice feature, and I'm hoping that you will no longer give me that deer in the headlight look if we start to discuss delegates over dinner some night. It's a fun topic.